The wrecked Italian cruise ship, the Costa Concordia, has arrived in waters near the port of Genoa for scrapping after a two-year salvage operation. Its removal was one of the biggest ever maritime salvage operations. The Concordia struck a reef off the Italian island of Kiglio in January 2012 and capsized, killing 32 people. Captain Francesco Settino has denied charges of multiple manslaughter and abandoning ship, which could see him jailed for up to 20 years. Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi is expected in Genoa in the afternoon to see the end of the complex docking procedure, which is expected to take several hours. The vessel stopped two miles, 3.6 kilometers, off the coast of Genoa, as technicians worked to prepare to tow the ship to its final berth, AFP reports. Genoa is where the Costa Concordia was built and launched amid fanfare and celebration nine years ago but now she is limping home to be scrapped says the BBC's Alan Johnston. The operation to recover the Concordia was not easy. Italy carried it out, the Italy that, when it sets out to, is capable of doing anything, even of surprising us, Mr Renzi said. Antonio Benvenuti, the head of Genoa's Harbour Workers Union, told AP that there was no precise schedule for each stage of dealing with the wreck. Tests will be carried out first to monitor for potential pollution problems, Mr Benvenuti said before the first stage of the operation would begin, reducing the weight of the ship in order to lift it.